SSH, the authenticity of host host can't be established. What does this message mean? Is this a potential problem? Is the channel not secure? Or is this simply a default message that is always displayed when connecting to a new server? I am used to seeing this message when using SSH in the past, I always entered my login with a password the normal way, and I felt fine about it because I wasn't making use of private slash public keys, which is much more secure than a short password. But this time I have set up a public key with SSH for my connection to Bitbucket but I still got the message. I am aware that the passphrase prompt at the end is a different, supplementary security measure, for the decryption of the private key. I'm hoping somebody can give a nice explanation for what is meant by this authenticity can't be established message. It's telling you that you've never connected to this server before. If you were expecting that, it's perfectly normal. If you're paranoid, verify the checksum slash fingerprint of the key using an alternate channel. But note that someone who can redirect your SSH connection can also redirect a web browser session. If you've connected to this server before from this install of SSH, then either the server has been reconfigured with a new key, or someone is spoofing the server's identity. Due to the seriousness of a man in the middle attack, it's warning you about the possibility. Either way, you have a secure encrypted channel to somebody. No one without the private key corresponding to fingerprint, 97 column 8 C column 1 B column F2 column 6 F column 14 column 6 D column 5 C column 3 B column E C column A column 46 column 46 column 74 column 7 C column 40 can decode what you send. The key you use to authenticate yourself is unrelated. You wouldn't want to send authentication information to a fraudulent server who might steal it, and so you should not expect any changes depending on whether you're going to use a passphrase or private key to log in. You simply haven't gotten that far in the process yet. Let us say you meet someone to exchange some business secrets. Your advisor tells you that you have never met that person before, and that it can be an imposter. Furthermore, for the next meetings with him, your advisor is not going to warn you anymore. That is what the message means. The person is the remote server, and your advisor is the SSH client. I don't think it is paranoid to double check the identity of the person before sharing secrets with her. For instance you could open a web page with a picture of her and compare it with the face in front of you. Or check her identity card. For the Bitbucket server, you could use a different, more trusted computer and get the picture of its face from it, and then compare it with the one you get in the computer you are using now. Use? If the faces match, you can add the key to the file for example, tilde slash dot ssh slash known underscore hosts, standard location in many Linux distributions, with. And the ssh client will not warn you as it already knows her face. It will compare the faces anytime you connect. That is very important. In the case of an imposter, for example a man in the middle attack, the SSH client will reject the connection because the face will have changed. There is another easy way simply touch a config file under slash root slash dot SSH and add the parameter. Next time when you log into a server, the ISA key will be added to known underscore hosts and won't ask a yes for authenticity confirmation.
I simply had to create the known underscore host text file in tilde slash dot ssh. After doing this, it added the host and I never saw the message again. If you want to support your channel, please give me some fun.